All right, welcome. As always, do not adjust your picture quality. I really am this handsome. Uh, this isn't an episode or not even one of my shorts. It's just a quick video I wanted to make on the whole Miller thing, adding uh, <laughs> Coach Evans adding DeSoto to the non-district schedule. Uh, they're getting a lot of pushback and a lot of hate on uh, social media, man. Um, I, I think I think some of you just don't get it. Um, so I'll try and explain it to the peasants who don't understand what's happening. I, I'm not going to pretend to speak for Coach Evans. I, I don't I know who talks to him. I don't know his reasons. But I, like, I can imagine what... What, why, why I would schedule someone like DeSoto. It, 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 you know, I don't think he'd schedule DeSoto thinking we're going to go in there and we're going to beat DeSoto. It's, it's not just about 2024 and that one game or you think you're going to beat DeSoto. It's about the long game, man. I mean, first of all, just imagine the kids in his program. Uh, imagine the excitement of seeing they have DeSoto on the schedule. Imagine, imagine the... The jolt of energy they now have during their football offseason when they're working out, knowing they have DeSoto on the schedule next year. How much harder, how much more work are they going to put in between now and the football season, the fall football season, just because they know someone like DeSoto's on their schedule? So you see, those of you that just, you're your meatheads and you don't get it, and uh, why would you schedule someone that's going to beat you by this much? And it's... Uh, uh, how are you doing your kids any favors by scheduling a game where they're trying to get blown out? Um, it, it's not just that, man. It's like I just said, how much better is Miller going to be next year just because scheduling the Soto period and having them on the schedule is going to have the kids working that much harder between now and September, now and August. Uh, Y'all don't get it if you don't see that 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 point of view of it. Um so it's just not just about, look, man, I have this ego and I'm going to schedule DeSoto because I have an ego and we're going to beat him. You, you just, you, you, you're never going to, you don't schedule teams like that. You're never going to ever get, you're never going to improve, man. You're never going to, it's, it's, it, South Texas is always going to be what it is, man. The uh, the laughing stock to the rest of the regions in the state. It's just, you, you like I, you put programs like this on your, I mean, imagine even, not just the off season, uh, but when the game itself happens, all those underclassmen on the Miller program getting to see up close what a state championship team looks like, the kind of talent you have to have, the kind of speed you have to have, the kind of work you have to get, everything, just everything you need to have to be a state. So all those underclassmen that are going to be on Miller's team this season get to see that up close. So they get to know for next year, what 2025, what they have to do, how much harder they have to work to, to be able to compete with programs like that, depending on what happens this season in the game. Uh, so, yeah, man, I mean, it's it just it's ridiculous when you see some of the comments, man, that some of you, some of you, either you just you hate Miller like Adrian on a side or you just you just don't get it. You don't want to see it. You don't want to let yourself understand why you schedule a program like DeSoto. Those kids on Miller's program are going to get to see that state championship winning talent up close uh, and so it's about the long game. It's not about what happens this season, man. All those kids, like I said, they're just going to be so much better, work so much harder during the, that boring off season that every football player hates. Uh, the tiring, boring, hard off season. You've got now those kids from there now have this jolt of energy of something to look forward to next season because they put someone like DeSoto on the schedule that's going to make them work harder than they maybe normally would have. And, and so they're going to be even better for all the other teams they play. So guess what? Putting DeSoto on their schedule does make them better in more ways than one. I'm sorry some of you don't get it. You're too busy scheduling Cream Puff High, Cream Puff Memorial, La Cream Puff. I mean, this it's... It, it's, look, I just, I don't get it, man. There's too many programs around. Cal Island, why are you scheduling Mexico City, Cal Island? <laughs> God, I don't want from years ago scheduling tough programs, man. The San Antonio area programs, programs from Waco, from here, from there. Now they're putting programs like Mexico City on their schedule. To, I, I don't get it. Um, so there's a, there's a, you know, there's a, there, I imagine there's a method to Evans' madness when you say, why would you put a team like DeSoto on your schedule? There's a method to the madness. I'm sure he has his reasons that are probably better than the ones I just gave. But the ones I gave, even just the ones I just gave, are legit reasons, man. You, you, you're you giving the kids from now all the way into August motivation. Motivation, that jolt of energy that they're going to have. Uh, how much better do you think those kids are going to want to be by the time they see DeSoto from now to then? You think those kids from Miller aren't going to put in find ways to put in extra work so that they don't go there that day and embarrass themselves? 
And so that whole thing with having DeSoto on their schedule, it's you guess what, man? All the other teams on their schedule have to be aware now because Miller's gonna be that much better just because they their coach had the balls to put a legit program, a legit state championship winning program, full of D1 talent on their schedule. And that's not the first time, man. I, I know Evans had gone after South Oak Cliff a few years ago when they won their first state championship, and it just couldn't be worked out. And there's others, man. I mean, there's y'all can laugh, y'all, y'all. <laughs> Not having guts to do something like that and, and laughing at someone that does have the guts to do it is it's not the flex that you think it is, man. It's there's a reason for it, there's a method to the madness. It's going to work out for Miller all in the long run, man. That program's going to be better for scheduling programs like for, like DeSoto, man. Whether you want to admit it or not, man, you want to stay a hater, stay a hater. There's a reason you do stuff like this, man. I don't care if you think Miller's going to lose 80 to zero with those comments you all are putting. They're going to be better against everyone else they play because the kids are going to work that much harder. And then, like I said, when the 2025 comes, the other classmen Miller had this season, they're going to be that much better because they got to see that kind of talent up close as opposed to playing cream puff high um, for all your non-district scheduled games because you just your coach is worried about wins and, lo wins and losses and not winning state championships. Um, I mean, you, you expect it because you expect from, I mean, there was a, a interview before the season started. It was Evans, man, talking about, uh, I don't remember which local stage I was interviewing him. And he was talking about they preach state championships to their kids every year. And, you know, you have the, you, you have the haters that comment on here and, you know, the, give me a break, man, or this, that, uh, whatever, man. That's what you, that's, a, that's what a coach has to be telling his kids or you don't belong in coaching. Um, that's the message you have to send your kids, state championships, uh, not district championships, not, or not beat this team or that team. Uh, if your coaches aren't preaching state championships, they're doing it wrong, man. I don't care what program you are. You should be preaching state championships to your kids. Uh, but uh, that, that's all That's all this was. It's just going to be a quick rant on the whole Miller thing. I feel like putting something out. I didn't want to write it or type it. or. Uh, but you all can write and type here in the comment section. Tell me why I'm right. You're not going to. You're going to keep on with your dumb comments, and that's okay. That's what I want. I want traffic. Let's talk about it. Uh, but you're, you're, you're just, I just, I laid it out, just gave a bunch of good reasons why you do put someone like DeSoto on your schedule, whether you think you're going to take a beat in or not. Uh, so uh, credit, to, credit to Evans, man. Um, uh, that, 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 that's a guy who gets it. That's 99.9% of coaches here in the coastal bend in South Texas don't get it. That one does. So like him or not, credit to Coach Evans for doing it. Uh, Miller fans and players watching this, you know, you, you, you coach did the right thing, man. You guys are lucky to have a coach like that. Uh, credit to Sinton. Sinton got a badass non-district schedule. Also, uh, they put nothing but they put nothing but really good programs in there. I think Sinton had Webbyville, Alice, GP, Kyle Allen, um, uh, Miller. Uh, and then they have Quito in their district now, so so GP put a good. Uh, I left somebody out. Let me see. Since 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 got Beville, Calhoun, Port Lavaca is the other one they got. Uh, Beville, Port Lavaca, Alice, GP, Miller, and Cal Allen. That's who sent them put on their non district schedule. So Coach Troutman's another one that gets it. Hats off to Coach Troutman and Sinton, man. Those are two coaches uh, that get it. So I, I can't just speak on too many. I haven't seen everyone's non district schedules. Uh, uh, but so, yeah, this is just going to be a quick rant on that, man. You, you know, let me know in the comment section why I'm right, because I am right. Coaches like Coach Evans and Coach Troutman, they get it. They understand uh, the long game and not just uh, what, oh, my God, stupid comments. We'll talk about it more in the comment section. Uh, so hats off to Evans, hats off to Troutman. Uh, you guys have some big balls, man. Keep it up, man. Uh, making stuff. That's, that's, that's why programs like that are they're always among the best in South Texas, man, because they know how to do it. Uh, the sentence of the Millers, man. Uh, so hats off to you guys, man. Thank you guys for on the page.